The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. Many years ago, there was a fellow, a teenage boy, who for some reason began to listen to my CDs, the cassettes, and he was a very lively boy, and he started imitating me. And people thought he was absolutely hysterical. And he once called me, and people told me that he's going to call, and he calls himself Pesach Sheni. Of course, my name is Pesach, and being that he was imitating me, he said that he was Pesach Sheni. He sounded like a very delightful boy. So I said to him, listen, you know, why don't you come for a Shabbos? Come with your friends. That would be great. I'd love to have you. Now, I found out that, unfortunately, he was living alone with his mother, who was an aguna. His father would not give his mother a get, and this went on for years. And so this boy really needed a father, because his father really didn't have much connection to him. And I became very friendly with him, and we began calling each other every once in a while. And what happened was that everybody began telling me about how much Pesach Sheni would imitate me at every single occasion that he could. And so I became close to both him and to his mother, and she told me the most unbelievable thing. And this is the thing that I want to talk about. You see, boys, if they do not have a father at home, find it very hard to go to shul by themselves. And many, many single mothers, both those that are divorced and those who lost their husbands, their almanas, they tell me that sometimes for weeks on end, the boys don't go to shul. I mean, of course, the girls don't go. Who's going to watch them? But even the boys. But what happened was this fellow lived in Brooklyn and a wonderful machanach, Rabbi Yaakov Landesman, so sang his in dark, he was the principal in Tveris Moshe, where my boys went in Queens, but he lived in Brooklyn. And every single Shabbos, he would pick up, we'll just call him Pesach Sheni, they would walk together to shul. Rabbi Landisman would learn with this boy. They would learn for a while, maybe half hour, three quarters of an hour. And then either they daven together or else he would walk him to the shul where Pesach Sheni wanted to daven. But many times he would daven right next to Rabbi Landisman. This went on for 10 years. Could you imagine? 10 years Rabbi Landisman walked this boy to shul. Eventually, he graduated high school. I surprised him. I came to his graduation. And eventually he moved. Well, at least he went to learn in Eretz Yisrael. Finally, 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 his mother got a get. But by that time, the damage was done. Terrible damage to the psyche of this boy. But he was a very lovely boy. Everybody liked him. And he got married to a wonderful girl and they moved to Eretz Yisrael. And when I was in Eretz Yisrael a number of years ago, he told me the most amazing thing. That he found out that there was a young boy that was living in Malo Dafna. And this boy was living with his mother alone. Again, there was no father there. It was a divorce situation. And there was nobody to take this boy to shul. So what Pesach Sheni did was he started coming to this boy's house every Shabbos morning at 6.30, quarter to 7, would walk him to shul, would learn with him, and they would daven together. And this has been going on for years. And the reason that I tell you this story is I want you to know that in every single neighborhood today, there are these kind of children that don't have fathers that can take them to shul. It could be because either with their mothers, single mothers, either, as we said, almanas, or those that are divorced or separated. And the weeks that they are with the father, so they'll go to shul. But the weeks when they are with the mother, who's taking them? Let's think about this. Let's try to be involved with those children. And we could be, in a sense, at least for Shabbos, a surrogate father for them. And maybe even during the week, we could learn with them one or, one or two times. Don't forget, as a child gets to the 7th and 8th and ninth grade, the mother can't learn Gemara with them. That's obvious, right? So they need an older person. But I'm talking mainly about Shabbos. 
if you know someone in your neighborhood, a child that's going to be alone, that's going to have to walk alone or not come to shore altogether, get involved. Let's walk the walk and talk the talk. Talk to the child. You see what Pesach Sheni did, and that's why I love him and I admire him so much. Because he saw what Rabbi Landisman did to him. And Mamela, now he's doing it for another child. That's what Godless is all about. You learn from the previous generations and you give it over to the next one. Again, this is not the happiest topic to talk about, but it is so important. And you can enhance and change the life of an unfortunate child. Please try to remember that. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.